N Plus One channel. This is Carl, and this is the playthrough of Nier. And this is actually going to be part nine. I'm a little excited because I'm finally reaching the point where I've caught up with the last set of videos, which incidentally was also the second set of videos. So this is my third time kind of doing this. If you wonder why I'm blowing through a little bit of the beginning, it's because I kind of just want to get to where I was, but without really skipping a lot of content either. You'll have to forgive me. At the moment, I have uh, one heck of a cough. I can't seem to kind of get rid of it, so it's going to be my friend as I uh, play through this. I'm going to do the best I can not to cough in your ear, though. All right, so what is it that we're doing? Well, they marked it on our map, right? Uh, we are heading out. Oh, hey, actually, I guess the name of the city is Carl's Village. I don't know how it's mine. I just happen to be a citizen. But you know what? I seem to be, like, the only person with an actual house. In fact, I never really thought about how weird that is, but I don't really see homes here. I see, like, stores and, uh, yeah, well, you know, maybe some of these smaller, uh, smaller places, maybe those are actually homes. I never really thought about it, because, I mean, they're doors. I can't go in them. I could presume maybe that the villagers live in there. But now how? How does our main character actually happen to have, his, like, the only kind of on-its-own house? I mean, you know... Definitely dressed quite a bit differently than the others. Maybe they just didn't want me around, right? Like, I'm a big outsider or something. I don't know where I came from, actually. I'd like to know that. I'd like some context for, like, where my character actually came from. I don't think we're going to get it. I don't think it's realistic to expect it. I certainly don't ever really recall knowing anything about our main character before he was here. Well, other than uh, presumptual, or presumably, um, you know, 1,300 years ago. Let's go ahead. Let's check in on some things, right? I think we need to check in on Yona. And we got some shinies, so let's see what they are. Shinies. Alright, got a magic drop. Those are kind of useful. <coughs> 500 Gs. Alright, I like that. And here we go. <coughs> Dad, everything hurts. It's alright. I'm going to make some medicine for you. It won't taste very good, but I need you to take it anyway. Okay, I'll take it. Good girl. Next morning. Hi, Dad. How are you feeling? Great, the pain is totally gone. That's fantastic, Yona. Dot, dot, dot. That's really fantastic. I need you, I need to go talk to Popola. Stay here and get some rest, all right? All right. Sweet. Oh, wait, hey, she has something else to say. Oh, you're back. Hey, Dad. I think I want to try making stew. Do we have any venison or wheat? A deer, wheat, stew? Um, that sounds, that sounds nice, Yona. Get ready, stomach. This is going to be rough. Yeah, accept the quest. Yona's home cooking. Okay, Yona, let me see if I can track down your ingredients. Really? Oh, thanks, Dad. I think you're really gonna like it. How'd it go today? All right, so get some venison. We'll get that when we're uh, when we're out on the open road. You know, something that I actually thought was a little strange. I was... Food for a home cooked meal. Hmm? You got something to say? Oh, no. No, no, no. I have nothing at all. <laughs> Look, I know Yona's not a four-star chef or anything, but she puts her heart into it, and I love her for it. Only a real jerk wouldn't appreciate the effort. What kind of father do you think I am? Did you hear me imply anything of the sort? I guess not. Just, well, good luck. So something that I thought was a little strange as I was watching the last video, or maybe it was uh, video seven, I'm not sure, but it was, you know, going to Seafront, and, uh, you know, Seafront and this village, they're, they're like not even far apart, right? It's, we, we've seen the journey here, it's not like there's a giant overworld and we can sort of presuppose that there's like some massive distance in between these two areas. We know how they connect. It's a little odd to me then that he's never been to Seaside. Or it seems like he's never even been in the area. In fact, 
I really don't understand what he's been doing, because he obviously has some sword skills, some fighting skills, but it looks like he's never really been outside of his own little bubble of a world, and so that confuses me. Anyway, I digress. I'm wandering around in circles so I can actually have a moment to talk, so I'm going to stop, and we're going to go in. He says that a horde of shades have appeared in the area. That's bad news. My weapon was damn, weir, damn near useless against the one we faced there. Perhaps there's some way to strengthen that weapon of yours? There's a shop at the entrance to the junk heap that might be able to help. If you bring them raw materials, they can make a new and powerful weapons. Interesting. Guess I'll pay him a visit. Oh, but it's not free, you know. It'll cost you around a thousand G's or so. Got it. If you need money, try visiting the tavern. Oops, that's not what she said. That's usually where people go if they're looking for someone to hire. Thanks, I appreciate it. Oh. Could you gather two medicinal herbs? Heck yeah! You wanna know why? Because this is gonna be easy, we'll just turn it right in. Yep, I'm back. Oh. Thanks for securing those herbs for me. I must be getting old if I need this stuff. <sighs> she loves her herbs. We could be a little curious about the room across the way, but let's not, so. Okay. That happens next year. Might as well check out that tavern Pablo mentioned. Oh, you know what? We can check out the tavern, that's fine. We've been there already. He's just gonna tell me where the chicken egg might be. Uh. Saw one in the sh hidden in the shadows once. There are shadows everywhere. That doesn't narrow it down. All right? uh, no, I swear there's like a like an area. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget that this area exists. It's like right up here. It's so easy just not to even realize that it's here. So I think there's one up here though. right angle just to search. That's just an herb there? No, come on. There's gotta be more up here. There's, there's gotta be a reason why it's all the way up here. No! Are you serious? Uh-oh. that whole area there but I guess there's just not really uh, really anything to it now, there's someone I need to talk to mm. so I can have a garden but I always forget to, damn flood games keep breaking down if I fix them and fix them but they just refuse to stay in place well, sorry that that's your experience so we're getting seeds and stuff but so there's like a gardening mini game and I talked about it a little bit in the last version of the series but I don't remember if I talked about it in this one they're kind of blending together at this point and that's unfortunate um, but there, yeah, there's actually a lot of really interesting items too that are unlocked because of that gardening mini game, which is a shame because it's, it's very repetitive. So let's go ahead and talk to the blacksmith. Hello. Okay. Let's see, are any of these worth it? That lily leaf looks worth it. That beast bane also looks pretty 
amazing. Let's go ahead and let's grab the lily leaf though, because uh, look at the uh, the weight and the attack power, and I think that that's gonna be a little bit better than what we got. And we got we got uh, tons of money here. Thanks for your support. What she got? Mm. All right. Oh mm. uh, yeah, yeah. I could go. Could go to the airy. Like I'm definitely supposed to go to the junk heap before I go back to the airy. At the same time, though, I wonder if I have to. It'd be actually kind of cool to go ahead and do it out of order. All right, let's see. Anything worth talking to these people? Usually they have word bubbles if they're saying something important um. that I need. <coughs> hey. Must show restraint. Let's check out the uh, this place. Hey, what's up? Hello. You ever heard Double and Popola sing? Sure, Devil sings here all the time. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the two of them singing together. Uh, no, I've never seen that. They used to come here and sing all the time, but now they're so busy. Hey, you ought to get them to come back and sing for us. Yeah, I'll accept the quest. I suppose I am kind of curious. Hey. You're asking me a favor. Well, now I've heard everything. I heard you and Polopola used to sing at the tavern. I never got a chance to hear it, so... Wait, you want to hear us sing? Ah ha ha. Do I look like I'm playing? Well, Popola's been swamped lately, so I haven't sung with her in forever. But if she's up for it, I'm willing. Hey. Alright, we can do that though. We can do that real fast. I hate to be kind of going back and doing uh, a bunch of boring things, but I feel like I've sort of been gently encouraged to do that, and the black scrolls here too? at this point I just want, uh, want to kind of knock some stuff out. Really bummed out about these chicken eggs though. Unless I like collected them all and somehow didn't notice, but that seems incredibly unlikely. Let's see here. Items. Let's see all items. What do we have? Yeah, we have one chicken egg. I think there's like six total. It's crazy that like I could move around so much and explore so little. Hmm. I can fish here. I don't think I ever realized that. I probably knew that, but it doesn't seem so familiar. some of those for a quest actually so that's really useful alright I am going to go ahead um, and not wander around in circles like I seem to be doing a little oh come on go to the library why is it always that I get a little mixed up about where the library is there we go because sworn I didn't see it just a second ago when I turned around I wonder uh, what the draw distance is on that whole area but maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just tired and not feeling well and probably not paying attention like I think I am. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to talk into something. Hey. Can I ask you a favor, Popola? Sure, what is it? I heard you and Devil used to sing at the tavern, and I was wondering... Oh my goodness, we haven't done that in a long time, and I don't... No, I'm sorry. I just don't think I can do it. Why not? Well, I need a certain drink before I can sing in public. I'm a little shy, if you know what I mean. It's a tavern, Popola. I'm sure they'll have it. Actually, they don't have this drink anymore. Though they used to order it from the tavern and Seafront, so maybe you could ask there. All right, we're not doing that right now. We'll do it eventually. 
before we can't do it anymore. There's a there's a portion of quests that transition in sleep mode is proceeding smoothly. All that remains is to pray for Project Gestalt's ultimate success. May God have mercy on us all. Interesting. Second one of those gray kind of tablature type uh, diary entries. Definitely not from Yona, or at least we're presuming it's not from Yona. Poor girl. I wonder if I should, uh, no, I'll make that delivery to the area, uh, later. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we're going to go to the drunk keep. Now I want to take a bunch of useless time. Hey, whoa. All right, I'm going to have to pause that frame what do you know about this later so I can read it. It's filled with garbage and scraps from the old world. There's all kinds of machines in there that no one remembers how to use. To get there, we have to cross the Iron Bridge to the northeast. Oh yeah, let me uh... Let me see here. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and change the weapon. I bought that Lily Leaf Sword. Yeah. Looks like it does a lot for me. In the old time, these huge metal crates used to cross that bridge all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ha! Ah, I just, I just punched my microphone. They were so smart. I must be a terrible person. Dead? Okay. here so it takes six of those things to kill them yep takes six of those to kill them interesting I may need to know that at some point wait am I just like going into the fold to fight enemies I don't know that I need to do that not at this point in time Oh man, they're like everywhere though. There we go. Ooh, Hoda, Asher. Sidestepping tutorial. That's not a word. That's a series of words in English. Sidestep attacks. Remember, actually, sidestep attacks. Whoa, school book? Me me wait, wait. Items, items everywhere. So why not have like a bunch or something? Alright, so. There. I am just trying to, uh. Oh, oh, lizard, lizard, lizard. I want the lizard tail. All right, got a lizard tail. Uh, you, you can't tell it on the uh, video, but for whatever reason, uh, my screen goes black from time to time sometimes. It's actually happened twice where uh, I can't actually see what's happening, so I just, you know, I'm noticing that it's not captured by the capture card, so it's the TV for sure. Oh, look. Would that be the canine we were looking for? Remember the old man earlier, he had the dog that he was looking for. Oh, yeah. And of course we got enemies. Now, these guys are actually a little bit tougher. And if you notice, they actually have shields. Have we seen enemies with shields yet? If not, we are now. Wow, they stay down for a while. Hey, leather boots. And that was yellow. So is that like a rare item? It's a missing dog. That old man is going to be pretty upset. Hey, wait. I think the dog has something in his mouth. Some kind of leaf. This is a rather dangerous location for leaf hunting. I wager this decision costs the animal his life. Well, it's the least we can do to bring the leaf back to the old man. Well, we found him. It looks like we're too late. This is going to be hard for that old timer to deal with. Be they dog or man, no living thing can escape their ultimate fate. 
that include you, Vice? Hmm. In truth, I have never considered the question. But I suppose at some point in time I may simply wink out of existence. I doubt I'll live long enough to see that happen. Um, see there. Yeah? You see here, if I ever find myself departing this world. Oh, stop being morbid, Vice. Besides, you can't die. You're made of paper. Yeah, you can catch on fire, though. I've never looked at it like that before. I kind of feel like that actually makes him, like, especially vulnerable, but that's just me. Alright, so, this is where we're supposed to be heading. We're heading to the junkyard, or the junk heap, rather. Alright. I can never remember if there's stuff. Nope, there's never stuff at the end of the bridge. Okay. <coughs> Man, look at all that rust. That's actually where we need to go. Just kind of poking around here. Yeah, I'm looking for the mailbox. I need to go check my mail. I'm having a little bit of a hard time speaking and maintaining momentum, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this video out here <coughs> for now. Uh, I might come back in just a minute, or I might save it for another day. I just want to make sure that I'm kind of keep working towards completing this. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to, free to uh, subscribe. And if this is your first video of the series, please watch another one because when it comes to energy and presentation, this is probably the worst job I've done. So, hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and uh, subscribe.